This is T West. Welcome to Afro Synergy. News and information on Africa and the African diaspora. Before Christianity, before Judaism, before Islam. Hello. Today we are hearing that there are certain Muslims, certain imams, certain sheikhs in some of the Arab states such as Bahrain and some of the other Arab states who are indicating that they would like to demolish the pyramids, to destroy the pyramids, the great pyramids of Egypt. Now to you devils, to you fools, who embrace a false religion. The basis on which your religion comes is from Africans, is from Egypt. That is where monotheism came from. When Abram, before he became known as Ibrahim or Abraham, before he went down to Egypt, when he went down there, before that, his people were idol worshipers. They even sacrificed their children to their gods, would burn them in fire to their gods. But Abram goes down to Africa. Yes, Egypt is and always has been in Africa. It is not in the east. It is in North Africa. Always has been, always will be. But to you devils, you Johnny Come Latelys, you who just came around in the 7th century AD, let me tell you something. When Abram, Abraham, came to Egypt, the Egyptians had already been in power for thousands of years before he came there. The pyramids already existed for well over a thousand years before Abraham arrived there. This is where Abraham learned of one God of monotheism. This is where Abraham learned that he should not sacrifice his children, his son Isaac. This did not come upon him and come to his mind until he learned and was taught in Egypt by Africans by black Africans, not Arabs, not white Arabs, not mixed Arabs, not white Europeans, not Asians, but Africans. This is where it all started. It is the origins of the so-called Western religions, as well as many and most of the Eastern religions. It is the foundation of all of that. Yes, that is a fact. And now you devils, because you didn't have the technology hundreds of years ago to destroy the mighty, mighty pyramids of Egypt, to destroy any link to the greatness, the great technology of Africans, of ancient Africans, who were capable of flight. Yes, vehicles of flight. You see those vehicles carved into the stones of ancient Egypt into the pyramids indicating that where you are now we have been before but oh how the mighty has fallen and you think and you say in your heart today that you now have the technology to destroy the mighty glorious pyramids of Egypt you will not be around. You will be destroyed and disappear from the face of the earth before the pyramids ever disappear. Yes, you have the technology, but your time is up. Your era is up. You, the mixed breed Arab, the false Muslims, you collaborated with the Europeans hundreds of years ago, and you collaborate with them today in Libya, in Syria, in Egypt, around the world. We know who you are. 
and we do not embrace you. We are not followers of you. We are the originators. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. We are coming to the end zone. And we know who were the leaders in the beginning. And that people, the original people of the book, are coming forth. There is nothing that you can do to stop it. You cannot kill them fast enough to stop it. It shall be. And there is no military might on earth that can stop it because all forces will come against those who attempt to do so. So you fools, talk as much as you like in your mosques, in your cathedrals, in your churches. Yes, you burn the books of Alexandria. Yes, you burn books all across Africa. Yes, you desecrate the buildings and the books in Timbuktu, but you cannot destroy what's in here. What's here? You cannot destroy the mighty, mighty, glorious pyramids because they were created by the people of the Creator. They were created by the original people that the Creator put here. You will be destroyed. And that is why you are running buck wild now. You are a wild man who has been unleashed so that the world may see the confederation that occurred hundreds of years ago when the African people were captured and scattered into the four corners of the earth just as the prophets had said that they would be scattered into the four corners of the earth, into the nations of the Gentiles. But where I send them, I will raise them up. They are being raised up. You can't stop it. You can't kill them fast enough. You have killed millions and millions. You enslaved them to build your great cities, your great nations. But what has it brought you? Now your empire is crumbling and you run back to your old friend, the apostate Arab, the false Muslim. And you work together and you conspire together against a people. We saw and we see what you have done to our people in Libya making them afraid to even lift their heads. We see it. We don't see a democracy there. Where are those black representatives of the black Libyan people? There are at least 1.5 million black Libyans. Where are they in this representation, in this false democracy, this democracy that is promoted by bombs and missiles, as Vladimir Putin has indicated. This is the era, this is the time of the kings of the East. Your time is up. It is over. This is T. West with Afro Synergy.